Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It feels so good to be back today. I don't know why. It's just a normal ass Thursday. Unfortunately, tonight is the last day of NBA games until the All-Star break is over. I think that's on Wednesday, next Wednesday. So no basketball for a while. So hopefully you guys don't mind videos like this because that's probably what probably going to post a whole bunch in the next week just because I'm off of school. I'm on spring break. So kind of just going to be doing videos and school work. So let me know if you guys like clip videos, if you like face videos, a little bit of both. You guys can comment anything you want anytime. So appreciate you guys so much. But let's talk about Andre Drummond. This is actually the same clips I used from yesterday. I talked about Andre Drummond potentially going to teams like the Raptors, you know, the Celtics, the Lakers, whatever it was, I made a whole video about the problem with Andre Drummond. So if you haven't watched that video, go hit my channel and watch. I think it's the title's name is literally the problem with Andre Drummond because there's a problem with Andre Drummond, man. He defense. There's no defensive effort. He's not really that versatile on offense. I mean, it, a lot of it is an effort thing, but Andre Drummond we're talking about him two straight days because there's rumors, first off, with the Rockets. There's rumors with the Bulls. I try to cover as much as I can with the Bulls. So that's kind of why I'm making this video today is about Andre Drummond to the Chicago Bulls. Now, if you guys want me to make an Andre Drummond to the Rockets, you know, or any other team, leave a comment down below. But today we're just going to talk about Andre Drummond and the Chicago Bulls and a potential fit because... It's funny, when I first saw the news, I was like, yo, hold up, I don't like this at all. Like, I, like, what are we in the Garpax days still? Like, why would we ever want Andre Drummond? And then I remembered, oh my God, you could get Andre Drummond for a, like a week's worth of, of barbecue chips. Like, that's how low Andre Drummond's trade value is right now. So, you guys know I'm not a fan of Andre Drummond. I don't really like his game that much. I think he's overrated and I think he's overpaid. But here's the thing. The Chicago Bulls have a similar, well, not a similar guy, but they have a similar contract in Otto Porter Jr., who they've been trying to either figure out, get healthy, or move him. And I think personally the best case scenario with Otto, I even thought this when we first got Otto, was to get rid of Otto. I don't like if Otto was healthy, if he was just a super healthy dude, I would be like, this guy is totally fine because he can shoot the three. He can defend. He's a little bit of a veteran, but he's still young at the same time. Like this is a good, valuable player. I think personally he's getting way overpaid right now. But at the when he's at his best, I mean, he's a he's a good player. Otto, Otto's a great player. But injuries, man, injuries have just derailed this dude's career in the last few years so much, last few seasons so much. Uh, not, not so much derailed, but like it's hard to get into a groove when you're never healthy. How, how the hell are you going to get into a groove if you're never playing basketball because you're always hurt? So I am being a little bit aggressive on him, but it's, I feel like ever since we got Otto, I swear this dude's been hurt. <laughs> I just want to see him do well. So that's what makes this trade interesting is... There's a good salary flip, a good contract flip right there. Otto Porter, Andre Drummond. Now, this is where things get a little spicy because if this was last season, if the Chicago Bulls still had Gar Packs as our management, I would be like, oh, no, please don't get Drummond. Like, you're not going to get a good coach to, you know, fit his game. You're going to give this dude as much money as he wants. Like, you don't even know if he fits this unit. So... What I actually really like about the Drummond trade is Billy Donovan because Billy Donovan is a very defensive-minded coach. And I think that Billy Donovan would be able to get Andre Drummond, sit him down and be like, figure your shit out, bro. Like, you're about to get, you're about to get a Hassan Whiteside contract next season if you don't figure it out. So the Bulls are main center or starting center is Wendell and – I don't talk about Wendell that much. He's only played in like 102 career NBA games. Um, he's having a little iffy year this year. Has, hasn't played much at the same time, though. I mean, it's tough to play much when you've been in the league three, four years and you've only played 100 games. Like, I love Wendell and I really want him to do well. But I think that Wendell very well could be one of two things. 
kind of just a good role player on a championship team, like a good role center on a championship team. He can spread the floor. He can defend. He can do a little bit of everything. He's only getting better. He's young, and he's going to be cheap. That's kind of one situation I view Wendell as where he's starting. He's getting 25-ish minutes on a contending team every night, maybe not finishing with them every game, but you know, providing impact, providing value. The other situation I see with Wendell is kind of just a bench player, (laughs) like straight up, just a bench player. I mean, I don't think Wendell's a superstar by any means yet. Uh, Hopefully he gets there. But as of right now, I mean, he's not a superstar. It's pretty evident. So I really don't want him to be a role player. But, you know, the Bulls' beautiful scenario that I'm thinking of right now is, well, what about this? So we get Andre Drummond, he kind of, him and Wendell kind of split minutes for the second half of the season, but Andre Drummond completely goes off. This dude is a beast. He, the Bulls make the playoffs, we make it past, you know, the first round or whatever it is. Wendell's still doing, you know, good enough, but Andre Drummond's clearly doing really good. Maybe then... You sign Drummond to a long-term deal in free agency. But I just really love this idea because I don't like Otto. I mean, I like Otto, but he's not really serving a role. I would rather actually have Drummond than Otto Porter. As much crap as I give Drummond, I would rather have him than Otto. And I just think in the right system, with the right mindset, Drummond could be a beast because he's just physically a, a, a beast. He's seven foot. I mean, he's a stud, dude. So I like it, um, but I would say definitely, you know, absolutely. And, and this goes for any NBA team as well, just trying to get Drummond. I wouldn't, you know, for the Bulls especially, no first round pick, <laughs> no first round pick, no starter, definitely no starter. Um, Otto really would be kind of the only, I guess he is a starter actually when he does play, but or not really anymore now that we have Patrick Williams, but I would say really Otto and maybe like a handful of guys that I would flop in there, like bench players, like you said, Aransky, Thaddeus Young, but the, the salaries just wouldn't mesh up there. So Otto really is the Bulls best bet at getting Drummond and I think he would help the Cavs out just because they don't want Drummond anymore his value super low and you never know what could happen with Otto they have a bunch of young players they got Darius they got Sexton they've got Nance they've got a lot of young talent that they could put around nice veteran player and Otto Porter who's still young and you can still kind of not build a team around but you can still be like this guy can still hoop man so let me know what y'all think